Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Friday, May 14th, 2010. Well, folks, as you can see, the markets are getting slaughtered today. The SPY down $2.63 on the day. The Dow down over 200 points or 1.9%. NASDAQ down 61 points or 2.55%. And the S&P 500 down about 27 points or 2.3%. Now, what is going on? What on earth is driving this market lower? Bottom line, it's the dollar, folks, and the weakness in the euro and the pound. The euro and the pound, let's talk all about those charts first. FXE, take a look at this. This is the ETF for the euro. You can see it's down again today in a major way. If you take a look at the daily chart, look at the drop that we've seen recently. And again, notice how the markets have followed the euro to the downside, which again strengthens the dollar. As the, as the euro falls, the dollar must strengthen. And that's happening and driving the markets down. Take a look at the UUP here, folks. The UUP just continues continues to rip higher. You can see it's the inverse exactly to the euro chart. Also, you have the British pound, and we can take a look at that by going to the FXB. FXB, you can see, has rolled over as well. Not getting as hit ba as badly as the euro today in percentage terms, but nonetheless, that euro is just continuing to plummet to the ground. Now, bottom line is this, folks. People still do not believe that Europe's in any safer bet right now, even though we got a $1 trillion bailout last weekend announced. And again, if you go to the charts on the SPY, you can see clearly we did get a bounce on that on Friday we obviously double tested here then over the weekend we got the news out you can see Monday Tuesday Wednesday we kind of floated up into this 20 50 moving average on the daily chart of the SPY and then today look at the drop here we've come all the way back into the 113 master level which again you can see these levels are highlighted on the charts and sure enough we've held the 113 level for now bottom line is this again folks you have to see the euro catch a bid if the euro cannot catch a bid this market will not rally off the lows it's simple as that as long as you see this euro plummeting the dollar will continue higher as the dollar continues higher it puts people into the running for safety of the US dollar which in tune kills commodities kills anything like oil or steel or copper and again just drives it lower in addition you have the other facet of wondering where the demand curve is going to be for all everything out there if you're seeing euro the Europe going into a dramatic like maybe double dippish recessionist type thing if that starts to happen you have to say to yourself all right well what's the impact on the global economy and the global economy will be impacted by demand for a lot of these commodities so for instance steel copper all these different building type materials if you have less demand in Europe it's going to drive the prices down when prices of steel steel and copper and oil go down stocks like Chevron Exxon Southern Copper US Steel they will all drop as well for instance let's take a quick look here and as the market's coming down towards the lows of the day again US Steel Look at this. Big drop today, folks. And again, U.S. Steel down $3.70 on the day. Take a look at uh, AKS, AK Steel, down $0.73 cents on the day. And again, that's the bottom line, folks. And believe it or not, I mean, it's, I know it sounds weird, but the dollar is so, so much of an intricate play here on how the market reacts. And again, it's all tied to the euro, obviously, as the euro comes towards the par line of the dollar. And it's still a little ways away, in all fairness. It's still quite a ways away, but it continues to go that way as we're seeing the dramatic decline. Now, interestingly enough today, usually with this panic issue, nature in the market you would see gold higher on the day gold is not exactly getting killed on the stronger dollar and the dollar's up huge on the day as I showed you take a look at this chart of the UUP the UUP is up 22 cents which is a huge move on the dollar that again usually if everything was flat and even would crush gold gold is not getting hit that hard today again because of the fear factor the GLD right now is only down 11 cents on the day which is basically flat on gold and that's because people are moving there for safety as long as you have that safety kind of trade going on people will find safety in gold and that'll keep gold prices from really dropping even though the dollar is going up dramatically in the last couple weeks and this is really an amazing phenomenon folks folks and by the way it is not a healthy market when you see gold and the dollar going up to Together, that is not a good thing trust me on that that means there's something majorly wrong out there and obviously as we know there is something wrong with this global economy especially in Europe now going into the weekend could it be a little bit of selling absolutely people don't want to hold the markets over the weekend you never know how things are going to open up on Monday are we going to see a crash scenario are we going to see a rebound people just don't know therefore they don't want to take the risk they're going to generally sell into the weekend I think that could be what's going on today as well all right. Now, again, you could look at the end of the day. Watch for maybe a little bit of a bounce just into the end of the day on short covering. That's always a play as well. And we'll, again, keep a close eye on that. Spiders, let's go back to the intraday spiders. Notice the market down ticking here. We're about 20 to 25 cents off the lows of the day right now. And, again, the lows of the day right here on a break of the even number of 113. That's also a master level. 113 is also a master level, according to In the Money Stocks, a chief market strategist here. And, sure enough, if you come down into the double bottom, you can look for a little double bottom bounce. Personally, I would look for a pierce of it before you look for the bounce. Look for maybe 
a 10, 15, 20 cent pierce, and then you look for the bounce maybe to bounce back up. It may only be a scalping opportunity, though. Now, other stocks in play. Take a look at JP Morgan. One of the key plays today, folks, that I've liked and I talked about here, JP Morgan on the daily chart. The low from last Thursday was right here at 39.25. Today, the low of the day pierced 31.25, 39.25, and then got a bounce. And so far, you're trading well off that. That is a lot of support on JP Morgan. Needs to be watched very, very closely, all right? Keep an eye on that here, guys. That is a big deal to me. This level of support on JP Morgan is big. If this were to break, and again, it may take a few days for it to break, but if it does break, then you're going right to here. This is going to be your next spot at around 38, and then ultimately double bottom from January at $37 and change. Watch it closely, folks. Again, this market is in a treacherous position right now, and we're seeing massive selling. Now, just a note here, folks. The webinar is tomorrow. This is a key webinar we're giving. You can look at the charts. You'll be able to see everything online that we're doing, all the material is emailed to you after the webinar that we go over. You'll have all of it to study day on, day, day out after this period. But nonetheless, that webinar is tomorrow. You want to join it in the money stocks.com. Go under education webinars and seminars link on the website. In addition, we give, continue to give out key plays in the hot charts and alerts and on the Pro Trader watch list. You continue to get some decent plays out there. We had three big winners on the Pro Trader watch list today for massive gains. We were bearish on stocks like SanDisk, on stocks like uh, Netflix. I mean, take a look at NFLX today. All right, look at the drop today after this topping tail here. And again, we pointed it out as a bearish play right here. Beautiful at around 108 to 109. Uh, and again, it hit all the way down to basically 100 bucks today. Massive fall. These are all winners on the Pro Trader watch list, which is included in the Research Center if you get the Research Center. Chat room is always fun, folks, giving play-by-play -play nonstop throughout the day, giving calls. I alone gave two calls today in my morning session alone on the Spiders. And there were other calls out there as well, but just on the SPY for scalps. And the scalps literally were 40 cent scalps apiece, both winners made your money made on those plays and to get that see intraday stock chat so i encourage you to come join the webinar for tomorrow saturday you can find that on the website or join the intraday stock chat research center or join it all folks we'll see you there take care hang on to your hats and watch this weekend for major stuff uh, coming out of europe